Bonjour mesdames et messieurs, in this video we're going to look at all the new releases of Lightroom 2024. Some really cool things. My name is Serge Ramelli, I'm a French photographer from the amazing city of Paris, France, living in the USA. Let's get going. So, one of the major features is, well, before I show that to you, how do you update your Lightroom? Some people have been asking this question, so you just click here on the Creative Cloud. Now, 90% of the time I do it, I have an error message saying that I have to relaunch. and even with relaunching, it doesn't work. The only thing that works for me is to restart my computer. Let me know in, in, in the comments if that's the case for you. I have to restart my computer before I can update any Lightroom or Photoshop. Very annoying. But anyway, you see Lightroom says up to date. I can open it. I'm going to open it now. So we are using uh, Lightroom 13.01. Okay, Lightroom and Classic, not Lightroom. One of the new features that we have is Lens Blur. So check this out. There is this new window here. It says early access. It's honestly, it's a bit buggy and it's a bit slow, but you click on apply and what it's going to do is going to detect what subject you have and it's going to create a lens blur. For example, this is a photo of Juliette, an actress I work with and I didn't like the background because everything was sort of sharp behind her. I'm like, oh, but look at that. That's kind of more interesting. Now she's sharp. Her reflection is blurry. Everything else is blurry. And you know, I tried like a very high number. You can don't get too crazy. But um, it's kind of slow. I'm not going to lie. You need a beefy computer for this to work. And then you have two choices. You can select subject and that's going to select whatever subject it thinks is good. But you see, it detected that there was two people. So it's making basically the part that's really in focus a bit big. I don't want this. So what you can do is you can lower this and say, this is, uh, this is basically the first version of Juliette and this is her reflection. And the way you can see it is actually, actually can move this around and I can see now she is blurry and she is sharp. And if I move back here, she's sharp and the reflection is blurry. You can even visualize this because they have like what we call a depth map and what's in yellow is what's in focus and what's red is what's out of focus. Okay. So I can see the yellow is her and the red is her reflection. And that's basically it. So kind of a one trick pony. It's kind of cool. You can use it on all kinds of photos. Let's do it on this. This is a photo that I shot with my daughter and my wife just before, like maybe a week before I became a granddad. And I thought the background was a little too much. Like it was a little too sharp. I wanted a, a nicer bouquet and boom, we got a nicer bouquet there. You know, don't go too crazy on it. 50 is a good value. If you start going more, it's, it looks kind of weird. So don't do it. By the way, guys, the five day deal just came out. It's absolutely crazy. What it is, is like 20 top photographers that got together that gave some of their best course and you can get them at a crazy price and they help charity. It only lasts for five days. It's absolutely crazy. If there's only one training you should buy this year, this is it. Check the link under the video. And you can do effects like this. So what I did on this is I activated the blur and I put it all the way. So what I did is I use, instead of using the select subject, I use this little target tool and I clicked here on the lamp and I made everything blurry. So on this one, what I like to use the different colors. I want to make the lamp here sharp and everything else blurry. And look at this before, after kind of crazy. I would use it more on portrait, but it's kind of fun. The next option that just came out, which is really good is check this out. I'm going to retouch really quick this photo. So it's like a really nice sunset in Paris. So I open the shadow a bit. I bring down the highlights. I crush my blacks, my white, make it warmer, add more magenta you know, add some contrast, maybe open the shadow even more because I really underexplored that photo. Let's kind of crop it. But I'm like, yeah, I wish I could really correct the colors of my sunset. What if? Let me put this on the rule of third. Well, there is this new option here, which is very, I really, really like this one, even more than the lens blur. It's use a point color. So you, we had the mixer back in the day. Now we have this new option called point color. And basically what it does is you can select a color and do whatever you want with it. Example, I'm going to click here and select that yellow. And you can see uh, the U shift. If you go left or right, it shifts the color. So left is going to make it more sort of a red. I don't want that much red, a bit of orange. And this is going to go make it up and down, which is adding or more uh, or taking out saturation. So I can really say, okay, I want that color to be more saturated. And then I can, and then you can decide, you know, how bright or dark you want that color. I would advise you to go very light on these settings, but it can give you great results. So I'm here and now I'm like, oh, let's 
make this one here. I think I want to make this one way more blue. Uh, well, maybe not this one. This one is very orange. So let's take this one. Let's see here. I can make this one actually a lot, uh, more reddish, a bit more saturation. And you can go really precise on this. I think I want to add some blue and I want to play around with the blue. So what I can do is I can go here and add a linear gradient and add some blue in the sky because I like my sky to go from blue to warm. It's like kind of my favorite kind of sky. So blue to warm like this. And I can go back here and refine now that I added the blue, I can refine the blue by clicking here, going where it's very blue. You see now it's all blue. And I'm like, oh yeah, but I want the blue to be like that or like that, maybe like this and a bit of saturation and maybe even darker. And look at the difference before and after. It's almost too much. So I'm going to lower the saturation on this one. The blue is a little too saturated, but you know, and you can really do whatever you want. I mean, look at the before photo of this one before and after it's kind of cool. Okay, so one more option, which is really cool on this. If you click apply, you have a little look at this photo before and after. So you have a little disclosure triangle and you can have different kind of bouquet. It's just the way, look at the blur, the way the blur is going to be different in the back based on different, you know, like this one has a lot more small circles. This one is like bigger circles, you know, whatever you kind of like. And look at the difference before, after. Kind of cool. Make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel because I've got a killer video coming out on landscape photography, which I spent months doing. You don't want to miss this one. So please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.